the track. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're starting vlog number three, which should be number three. I want to say number two because this is actually vlog number two. I got a little story to tell you guys. Um, a couple weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I was on my computer editing a video, one of my best videos I've ever, I ever made. It was a whole edit, everything, awesome fish catches, awesome content. And I was going through deleting all the separate clips from my GoPro and I was just keeping the final video. And next thing I know, I deleted my whole file, which had every single YouTube video, every single video I've ever made since 2010. I deleted every single video and I only got back six or seven and they were from a while back. So sorry for that, guys. Real sad to me, too. I deleted every single video on accident. I had three or four videos planned already, already edited everything plus that one video that was freaking amazing so sorry for that and real real sad to me too but probably you guys probably don't really care but it was a really awesome edit guys I promise you but I'm filming with my new uh, tripod mount that I made shout out to Tommy Rivera he gave me this so real nice nice tripod custom DIY made um, so to get this started starting vlog number two Tommy's coming over we're gonna head over to Bass Pro Shops later starting off this vlog see how it goes see you guys later Alright guys, so basically what's happening right now is I'm basically just going through some of my tackle. This is just my uh, my shore fishing bag whenever I go shore fishing to ponds and stuff like that. This is the bag I'll take. Now, I have a video on my YouTube channel, I think. I don't know if I deleted it, but it's my Bass Pro Shops XPS bag. Real nice bag. It's real heavy duty, so I can fit a lot of tackle in here. This thing fits about 8 uh, Plano 3600 tackle boxes. But basically what I'm doing is I'm getting ready for Bass Pro Shops, so what I do is I go through all my boxes and see what I need. Um, so right here is my crankbait box. I'm good on that. May need a couple 1.5s. I'm fully loaded on jigs and terminal tackle, but I'm gonna need some jerk baits and stuff for the winter time. And this is my robo worm box. So basically I'm just going through tackle, watching a little JoJo bars, fish in the Midwest. Going through my tackle and I'll leave some notes in my phone about what I need so when I go to Bass Pro, I know what to get and I remember what to get actually. Tommy should be here by now. It is 6.35, so should be here, supposed to be here at 6.30, we're supposed to be on the road to Bass Pro Shops at 6.45 because they close at 9, you know how that goes, you guys spend 5 hours there, but obviously not this time, but whatever, hurry up and get here Tommy, but see you guys when he gets here. Look who it is, the man himself has arrived. Let's go! Alright guys, so right now we're on our way to Bass Pro Shops. Hey! Alright, so we're on our way to Bass Pro Shops right now. We're gonna pick up some stuff and so I'll see you there. Alright guys, so me and Tommy just arrived at Bass Pro Shops. We're here. Boom, there it is. We're at the Bass Pro Shops in Rancho Cucamonga because we live in Southern California, so boom it is. There it is, guys. So let's get in there and start shopping. Alright guys, so if you remember when I was in my room, I was going through what I needed in my tackle box. I was looking at my reels and I needed some lines, so what I did is I made a little note right here. You can see. I just made a note of the stuff I need, so that right there is the stuff I need, so we're going to go get some 12 pound key line fluorocarbon right now. This is the what? This is the line I always use guys right here. P line fluorocarbon right here. Boom. 12 pounds of that, so. We're gonna get some 12 pound P line fluorocarbon. Fill up some of my reels. Let's get to the other stuff. Alright, guys, so looking for Tommy right now. Alright, what's up, Tommy? 
So what do you got so far? Um, I'm just checking out the Havocs right now. Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss, two ninety nine. One yeah, of my favorite cheap. baits ever. Let's see what yeah, you got. Yeah, they're just super cheap, but I got some Havocs. I'm checking them out. Um, I want to try new colors out. Um, so I got, got my some. GoPro. I got for like three hundred. No, I'm just kidding. I got some um, finesse shroom heads. I want to try these out with the Ned Rig. Go check those out. The Ned Rig video. Go check that out. Um, some drop shot Gamagatsu hooks and some drop shot weights, but it's kind of getting in the soft plastic area, so I'm gonna check these out. So yeah, guys, so basically right now, I think I'm almost done. I have about $90 I want to spend, and I'm checking out some stuff right now. I think I'm almost at that limit, but I'm going to check out some soft plastics and stuff, so I'll get back to you guys. So I'm done shopping. I'm at my limit, or about at my limit right now. I'm at like 86 bucks, which is my limit, so that's all the stuff I'm getting. I'm going to make a video later when we get to my house, but Tommy's got like, Tommy's got the hookup. We're looking at the Robo Worms. All these Cali boys know robo worms are the way to go whenever you just need to catch a fish. Go to a robo worm on a drop shot, they'll never let you down. So I'm gonna go check out right now. We're probably gonna go up to the gun section, look around, mess around for a little bit, and then get back to you guys when we leave. That young Chick-fil-A life, about to get me a chicken sandwich, best thing on earth right now, so let's go in there and let's eat. Alright guys, so right now we're about to start filming the Christmas trip unbagging, but first we're setting up out there, we got the tripod all set up, but right now we're getting my GoPro LCD screen. This is the LCD back door, I'll show you guys right now. If you guys don't have one of these, let me set the camera down real quick. If you guys don't have one of these, I really recommend it. They're the GoPro LCD screen, touch touch screen, everything like that. So you guys can preview and watch your videos as soon as you take them. So if you guys are looking for something to help, because you know GoPros don't have the built-in LCD screen. Unless you have the Hero 4 Silver, which is my favorite camera. But if you don't, I really recommend getting one of these touch screen LCD back doors. So after we're done filming, I'll get back to you guys and we'll see you guys later. Alright guys, so that's the behind the scenes of our Bass Pro Shops Tackle Unboxing. We got Tommy's bag right there, right in the hoverboard. We got my Bass Pro Shops bag. We got our tripod set up right here with that GoPro. So this is basically everything that we got right here. You guys can see this vlog will be up. So right here is just a quick shot of what we got. Well, that's all you guys get to see, but that's the behind the scenes of how we make our videos. Um, I don't want to show you guys too much because we got another video coming out of what we actually got all right there. So, right in the hoverboard, pretty sick, but we're going to stay up all night. Sorry I'm talking quiet, I don't know if it's awkward, but everybody's asleep, so I'm not trying to wake them all up. But that's it for right now. We're going to get into the night, start editing a couple videos, and tomorrow we're going to continue with the vlog, trying to make it a whole day. But So that's it for right now. See you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so... Haven't tuned in in a while. It's been since Chick-fil-A since I vlogged. And that's that was almost like three and a half hours ago. Sorry about that. But just finished a new video. How to spool line on a bait caster. So if you guys want to check out the video, it'll either be in the description or just look on my page because I probably won't put it in the description. That was a lie. But cool video. If you guys don't know how to put line on a bait caster, I've got a video up for you guys now. So we're just going to chill out. Even though I say that every time, but I don't know what we're going to do. It's 12-24. It is New Year's Eve, technically, because it is December 30th now. Or yeah. Yeah, 30th. Yeah, 30th. So right now, we're just going to drink some Monsters. Probably going to edit, too. Have some oh, yeah. fun, chill out. I actually have so many videos to edit. For this vlog, I have, like, almost 80 clips. And then on this GoPro right here, I have... 30 clips from videos from me and Tommy. And then Tommy's got a whole, probably another 80 clips for his vlog. So 96 to be exact. 96 actually? Yep, for vlogs. Yeah, that's so cool. we're going to be editing probably all day tomorrow if we don't go fishing. So we got a lot of work ahead of us, but it's for you guys. So until next time, see you guys in probably 10 minutes.
Oh, what's up guys? So right now we're in my room and we're I'm about to start editing my Bass Pro Shops um, unbagging video. So right here I've got the tripod and the GoPro that we're, we film the video with and I've seen a lot of questions what I edit with and right there is what I edit with. It's Sony Vegas Pro 13. It's the best editing software out there. You can see it just opened up but looks pretty complicated and it is at first, but kind of like with anything, after you use it, you get used to it. But I've had a lot of questions about that on my Instagram and stuff through DM. So I use Sony Vegas Pro 13. I bought it. This is the full version, so I can do everything on it. And I'm about to start editing right now, so I'll let you guys know when I'm done. All right, guys, so I just got done finishing my Bass Pro Shops Christmas stock up video. As you can see, it's exporting right now. Here's the video. Sony Vegas Pro 13, it's not that difficult, but yeah, that's what I'm editing with, it's exporting right now, and Tommy's going to start making his Bass Pro video, and then after that we're probably going to edit another video, and then probably edit another video, and probably edit another video, and then probably edit another video, so. What's up guys, welcome back, today is the next morning, we went to sleep at like 3 o'clock, and it's... 12.16 in the morning now, or 12.16 in the afternoon, so me and Tom just got up, we're going to go eat right now, then we'll get on with our day. Alright guys, so right now, basically me and Tommy are going through our tackle, organizing a bunch of stuff, as you can see, Tommy's making a little Senko slash drop shot kit, making his dividers perfect and stuff, I'm going through my terminal, looking what I need, organizing stuff, I have some Senkos right here because I don't have any more room. But right now we're just organizing all our stuff. See, I labeled everything, so it's all organized and clean. See it all right there. Then I'm going through my crankbaits and stuff, looking what I need. Me and Tommy doing a little trading and stuff too, baits and stuff. So yep. get some new jigs, all my new techs all right here. I'm fully loaded for right now, so once we start doing something different, I'll let you guys know, or we might do a time-lapse of tackle organization. But... That's basically it for right now, so see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so just now we got finished tackle organization, putting all of our stuff away. We still got some boxes to put away, but who really cares? Finished my spool right there. I reel, I have a video of how to spool the baitcaster, so if you want that, expect that in the near future. Um, that should be out after this vlog, so it shouldn't be out yet, but it'll be up soon. So Right now, me and Tommy are about to make some food. There's my dog drinking water but right now we're about to make corned beef hash best thing ever check out tommy vera's bass pro shops christmas stock up check out my christmas stock up both videos are up and live so go check them out all right guys that's gonna conclude vlog number two with my buddy tommy rivera we had a pretty good time making this vlog it was a full day vlog i started this last night on the december 30th and it is december 31st now New Year's and is is in about three hours, so right now we're gonna clean up, go do some stuff. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna try to do something fun. I don't know what, but we have nothing else to record fishing wise, so we're just gonna end it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some upcoming videos and until next time, see you guys later.